Okay, so today we're gonna take the paper that you painted with your complementary colors last time, and we're gonna use it to create a paper weaving. The first thing we need to do is fold it in half. We're gonna use that hamburger style again, and it should fold pretty easily because you folded it last time before you painted. That is where we're going to cut our paper in half. If it's hard for you to see the fold, then you can use your Sharpie to trace that line first before you cut it. It's okay if it's not exactly where the paint color is. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna cut that line. Now, half of this, we're gonna have to use our ruler and I usually flip it over so it's easier to mark on the side that does not have the paint. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna put it right at the edge of the paper. And we're gonna trace that. And if you need help, you can have your neighbor hold this down for you while you trace it. And then we're gonna do that on the other half of the paper. The other end, I should say. Then we're gonna turn our ruler the other direction and we're going to start at the edge and we're gonna make lines going across, but I'm not going all the way to the top of the paper. I'm starting at my line and ending at my other line. All the way down to the other line. Each time I'm just lining up the ruler, the last line that I made right to there, okay? Now on this paper, we need to cut just these lines. So the way I do that is I fold it in half again, still folding hamburger style, no hot dogs, so that I can start cutting at the fold in the middle. I'm only gonna cut to the line that I made. I'm not cutting all the way to the edge of the paper. Cut each of these and stop when I get to that black line. Okay. Now, when I open this up, this is the part that we're going to be able to weave through. With your other paper, we need our ruler again. Again, I think it's easier to mark on the back. We're gonna start at the top. Put your ruler right along the edge. Okay, we're gonna hold it down tight and we're gonna trace it. And we're gonna do that all the way from the top of the paper to the bottom of the paper. Line that up, the black line each time. until we get all the way to the bottom. Again, you can have a neighbor help you hold this. You can help each other so that ruler doesn't slide away from you. Okay. And then we have to cut all of these. And these you can cut all the way through from one end to the other. piece is a little skinnier, but that's okay. okay. So now I have all of my purple pieces that we're going to weave into the yellow. So when we're weaving, we're going to do an under over weave. If I start under the first piece, go over the next one. 
And we go under and over until we get all the way through. And even that up. The next piece has to start the opposite. So if this one started under, the next one's gonna start over. Now we go over, under, over, under, all the way through. It starts to look like a checkerboard or a chessboard. And then I slide that up so it's tight with the first one. Each time, you're gonna switch it. So this one starts over, the next one would start under. If you make a mistake and you accidentally start it the wrong way, it's okay, you just slide them out and start again. Under, over, sometimes it helps if you say it as you do it. Over, under, over. Slide that all the way up. We're gonna do that until we fill up the whole piece. And you'll have a few extra pieces and that's okay in case any of them tear when you're trying to weave. <laughs> 